And your vote 2022 Indiana's midterm election results are in. News 8 has been following all the races, keeping up with the latest results coming in. One of the major races we've kept our eyes on is the race for Secretary of State. Republican Diego Morales, Democrat Destiny Wells, and Libertarian Jeff Moore competed for the open seat. Morales came out on top and will become Indiana's next Secretary of State. He's the first Latino elected to statewide office in Indiana. News 8's government reporter Garrett Berquist was at the state Republican Party headquarters when Morales addressed supporters. This was a particularly high profile race due to the controversies surrounding Diego Morales, but they ultimately only slightly dampened Republican enthusiasm for him. The truth always prevail. Let me say that again. The truth always prevail. Republicans call Morales' victory a win for election integrity. He succeeds fellow Republican Holly Sullivan, who he defeated at the state Republican convention. Morales has faced questions over his views of the 2020 election and allegations of sexual misconduct, which he denies. His vote totals slightly lagged his colleagues running for state treasurer and state auditor, but he held his lead over Democrat Destiny Wells throughout the night. My commitment to you is that I will work as hard as I've been doing to make you all of you proud and take this office, the legacy of all secretaries of state, to the next level. It is going to take all of us and it is going to take our friends across the aisle who are looking for a new home and who prove that they are ready with this race. Look at the margins, study the margins. Do not let this moment be lost upon us in the next couple of years because the work starts tomorrow. Tuesday's results make Morales the first Latino ever elected to statewide office in Indiana. This was also a critical election for the Libertarian Party. Their nominee, Jeff Moore, did not get the 10% of the vote necessary for the party to get onto the ballot for primary elections in the next few cycles, but he easily surpassed the 2% threshold necessary to keep the Libertarian Party on the ballot for another four years. In Indianapolis, Garrett Bergquist, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.